Hi guys, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless and today I'm going to show you how to use the new pattern layer. I'm not just going to create a pattern, I'm also going to show you one way you can use that pattern. In this case I'm going to take a dress and change the colors of the dress and change the colors of the pattern. So let's get started. So let's do File, New and a photo and pick any size because it's going to change once we open up the stock photo and I went to stock photo and I typed in dress and I found this dress and I have the link in the description below so I'll pop that on and it's by Mike Lloyd and when I said it didn't matter what size it's because no matter what size you put in you just can go to document clip canvas and it becomes the size of that photo so what I'd like to do first is select the dress. This will be an easy selection. I'm going to choose a selection brush tool. Make sure my brush is fairly big. I'm using the right bracket key to raise the size of my brush. Wow, look at how quick that's selected. And I'm just hitting my command plus key and I'll use my space bar to slide around. And I just need to get a little detail here fixed. One thing is if I hold option I want to get rid of this hair so it just shows the strap and right here I also want to get a close-up command plus moving with my space bar held down I'm moving my mouse and I need to get this little bit here and it's going to be a little bit harder to select but I am going to try and see how far I can get it to go and that's actually pretty good and I know there's a little tint of red and if we have to later on we could fix that we can just uh, do a little color overlay or a smudge there now what I'm going to do is refine and now the problem with refine is because there's a red background you can't see it so I'm just going to change it to a black mat and that looks pretty good and I think I'll just feather it maybe a point one and then put it on a new layer with a mask and say apply. Okay, so there's the dress that's separate. And let's look at our layer. See, now we can uh, turn this back on. And here's the dress, and that's the layer. And if you notice here, that's just showing the dress. So I can turn that off and on again. But I'll leave everything on like that. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to create a new layer and we're going to go layer new pattern layer and that's the newest thing in affinity 1.9 and I'll leave it at 32 by 32 I could have made it larger but I'm not going to in this case and I'm going to get a real close-up maybe I should have made it larger but real close-up and then I have to go to the paintbrush and I and now the paintbrush is a soft brush but I think I just want to do something else I'm going to go into my brushes and maybe dry media and let's try something like this so I'm going to go like this I'm painting basically in here you see how I'm painting there maybe I'll put a dot there and maybe I'll go like that and who knows maybe right on the corner here I'll put a dot and it's not really very pretty but that's what I'm going to use and that's going to be my pattern so now let's get back to full screen and that's my pattern and I can increase the size of my pattern by the way I can go like this I believe see and you can look at the dress to see where you want your pattern to be so let's do maybe about that size and I'm pretty much okay with that. I'm curious if I duplicate it, will it be darker? Control J. Yes. So I just duplicated it and made it even a little bit darker. So I'm kind of liking that. So now what I'll do is I will group this pattern into one. And I am going to take this mask and duplicate that. Control Command J and move that up and to the right so it only is on the dress so now we're looking let's just look at the dress right now 
and there's my pattern on the dress. And I'm not saying it's the most beautiful pattern. And before we change the color, we can change the color of the dress and we can change the color of the pattern. But we'll do that in a minute. First, what I want to do, I'm pausing the video to ask you to please take a second and hit that subscribe button because it really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. I need to rasterize this now. Rasterize and trim. So it's no longer a pattern, so it's destructive. You can't change the pattern at this point after you do this. But I'm gonna rasterize and trim, and now that's your pattern, and I will mark that as pattern. And I'm just gonna use maybe a little liquify in this particular case. So we'll take the pattern and we'll go up to liquify right here and I, I'm, just, I'm gonna make my brush a little small well maybe not so small and I want to just get some of these grooves in like to show you that the pattern changes maybe I'll go smaller than that like in here you see how it's indented a little you want to be able to indent them somewhat maybe this one indented a little up and bring this one again Let's see, it's in, then it comes out, and then maybe this one goes in a little more. So I'm gonna bring this part down. And then as we go up toward her breast, maybe her waist is a little bit pulled in, like kind of like that. And maybe up here a little and down here a little. Just kind of curve it out a little bit. And that's where we want the pattern to go. And that's pretty good. And I'll say apply. So now we have this pattern dress. Now let's say we wanted to change that. I'm going to group this. So now this is still, the this is now the dress with the pattern. Let's call this red black because it's a red dress with a black pattern. Now I'm going to duplicate that and let's turn off this one and open this up again. And maybe the pattern we want to be a different color. So I'll get a close up here. Oops, not, too, not that close. I'll get a close up and we'll go to effects. And if we want the pattern itself to be a different color, we can give it, say, let's say red with, with a green maybe. Or let's go around this, let's go around and see what it would look good. Let's do yellow. And and if you want to do yellow like that, it's not very pretty, but <laughs> actually I don't like the yellow. So I think red with white, right? White would be better. How about that? A red with white, and we'll leave that one at that. So let's do this one as, let's change this instead of red, black, let's make it red, white. Okay. And now we do it again. We could duplicate it again. And instead of a red dress, maybe you want the dress itself to be a different color. So you select the dress and you can go to uh, adjustments, HSL, and you could change the color of the dress. So maybe you want this dress to be, let's try a pretty purple, some kind of purple like that. And then with that purple, I can go to the pattern, and once again, I can go to effects and overlay. And this time, instead of purple, I mean, instead of white, like we had on the last one, this time maybe I will do a yellow. Uh, let's see how bright we can get that yellow. Or maybe a little amb a little bit of an amber yellow, I think is kind of nice. And that's, and then we just go plus like that. And you could see that you can create patterns with the pattern layer and then adjust those patterns. In fact, let's try something else. I don't know if it'll work, <laughs> but we can go back to that pattern, go to effects, and maybe, I don't know, we can do an outline <laughs> or 3D. Let's try 3D first and see what happens and see if that pattern does anything in 3D. I don't know if it's going to, but doesn't seem to be doing much. Uh, so let's forget the 3D. How about an outline? Am I on the pattern? Yes, I am on the pattern. And ooh, 
So there you go. On a, wow, it's just too much because the, the pattern is so small. I don't even know how to get it. I could do that and I could do that. And as you can see, something happened when I did the mask earlier, maybe when I did the um, liquify, and I should have kept the mask on the liquify, but I didn't. So all I have to do then is hit an eraser and, or a mask again, and I could delete those extra pieces. And that was my mistake. I should have checked out in the beginning, and I did not. So let's just do it right now and clean her up a little. And there you go. So just be aware of that. So now I have a pattern with an outline and you might be able to do different things with it. And this was just one example. It's pretty powerful. I mean, to, to create a pattern on a fly like that and then just mask it, you could put it on anything. And I think that came out pretty good. So it was not a, a complicated tutorial. But it's some, um, I'd rather, I've seen a lot of people show you how to create a pattern layer, but I wanted to show you a way to use it. And this is one way, and there's thousands of ways to use it. So if you like this tutorial, hey, take a second, please. It only takes a second to hit that subscribe button, and it helps my channel and gives me the incentive to create new videos. So thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye.